Hey guys, Justin Davis again with another Drone Camps review. Thanks for joining us on this channel. I want to say thank you for subscribing and hanging out with us and flying all these cool quadcopters and hexarotors that we get for review from time to time from various companies around the world. So we're hanging out today with the H899. It's a new quadcopter. It's from our friends below. You can check out the link to grab one of these. I really do like this one. I was out this morning flying it and it's actually very, very fast. Uh, it comes with a modular gimbal on here so you can add a GoPro, uh, you can add a, a series of other cameras on here. It does come with sort of a faux style GoPro but it does do stills and video. Uh, it is controllable, uh, you can see the FPV on here from your smartphone so you can download the app in either Android or on your Apple phone and you can see the full live view coming from the camera so uh, very good priced quadcopter. Great for starting out if you're going to get a Phantom later or something like the QX500. This is a great starting point because it is modular enough to add a GoPro in there because a lot of guys call me and they ask me what's the cheapest copter I can get that will put a GoPro on there. So uh, this one is very, very cool. So let's go ahead now and open up the box and I'll show you what comes with the H899. Here we go. This one comes with a lot of stuff in here so this is going to be a fun unboxing. It does have a little QR code out here that you can scan. And first thing we see is the instruction manual. There's one in Chinese and there's also one in English. It folds out across this way. Uh, go ahead and check that out. Read all the functions and see what your 899 can do. Pretty cool. This is the pack for the, uh, the actual included camera that came with it. I'm going to go ahead and take the top off and show you all the stuff that comes in here with this. Quite a bit of gear for the price on this quadcopter. I'm pretty impressed with how much is actually packed in this box. I'm going to go ahead and pull the H899 out. I got the black model. There is a white model of version available. I, I kind of like these black frames. It has LEDs on the top and on the bottom, so super cool there. It's an on-off switch. Your battery bay is here. It has the battery connector there. It comes with a pretty large 2S, uh, I believe 2000 milliamp hour battery. So this one takes a little over an hour to charge, uh, waiting on this one for quite a while. Uh, but go ahead and grab yourself a couple of these so you can fly a couple times. They are pretty cheap in their store. You'll find a link below for those batteries as well. And this is the camera that comes along with it. It is that GoPro style camera and you can take video and stills with this. And that will mount right to your clamp which comes along with it. Like I said, this fits a GoPro. And it'll go in here and it'll snap in place. So it's very, very secure in here when you do that. Um, it comes with a piece of foam as well so you can kind of maybe dampen it a little bit and get smoother video. It does come with a full set of prop guards. Some of you guys like the prop guards. Uh, I'm not a big fan of them because I've been flying for quite a while and I think it slows down the copter. But if you're going to fly for the first time or the first couple days, these are great to have on there because if you have a tip over, you might save your props. Now, cool thing about this is that it also comes with four props on here and it has which way they rotate. So pay close attention when you're putting these on that you don't put the wrong prop on the wrong motor because it will just tip over, it won't take off. A uh, new tip for, uh, tip for you new guys. Here's your landing gear. It includes four landing gear which give it nice height and clearance from the ground for your GoPro gimbal. The accessories bag, full of goodies. Uh, it does include the smartphone clamp that will clamp right onto the radio. It has an arm on here as well that will extend it up from the back side of the radio. Uh, I believe it It actually clamps onto the antenna itself. I've seen other ones that install like that. It slides right down on top of the antenna uh, and you can tighten it down as much as you want. There are several keys on this transmitter. It is 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, it does have seriously hardcore flips. This thing is an aggressive flipper. You press this button on the top right and it'll do a 3D flip. Uh, very cool. They call it 3D aversion on some of the other boxes that we've seen. And it does have dual speed modes which is super cool. I like that. This thing really hauls ass. Uh, I flew it in that hardcore uh, 
second mode for, for a harder, probably about 35 degrees pitch. Uh, very hard and very aggressive flying copter if you want it to be. So for doing video and stills, I usually fly it in mode one, uh, a little less aggressive. Throttle is on the left and your steering mode is on the right. You have photo button here, you have camera mode here, and you have an auto return, uh, which puts it into headless mode, um, bringing it back as well. So pretty cool, it's got headless mode and auto return on here. Now the other accessories in here is another Ghost, GoPro style clamp uh, and threaded bolt and a screwdriver and a couple screws for putting together your smartphone mount in here. Something in here with a picture of the transmitter and it's all in Chinese, we don't know what that means. Uh, it does come with some extra stickers, super cool, kind of like the Phantom 2. You have different colors there if you want to add them. This is your cable, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but this is your cable for the bottom of your gimbal to attach to your uh, faux GoPro here. So you're gonna plug that in, that's how you're gonna power this. You're gonna actually power it through the copter, so no batteries needed on this guy. Also in the box, we have a couple rail mount um, options for the gimbal to slide up into. There is the bottom piece here, which is gonna slide right up into this and lock into place. And then you're gonna take this one, use your GoPro style uh, bolt here and right through and you're ready to go. So pretty easy to install that. There's also a large bag of screws here for your landing gear and installing your gimbal on the bottom. This is your charger over here. This charges it in just a little over an hour, like I said. Um, you will need a converter if this is the European style plug on this that came with this. I do happen to have a converter, but if you need a converter to make it US, make sure you grab that also in their store so you can set that right on top of it and then you plug it into the wall for your uh, 110 volt so that's uh that's pretty important because this is this is european style which is 240 uh 240 volts so that's a little little extreme for us in the united states but we have a converter and we can make that work and there's nothing else in the box so we're going to go ahead now uh, we're going to put the landing gear on real quick and I'll, I'll show you what it looks like next to the SEMA um, and give you an idea of what the scale is on this one this one is a little larger copter and it definitely flies like a larger one so pretty cool so coming up next we'll show you the size comparison okay so a couple more things we have it sitting next to the SEMA this is the popular XHC model and this is the H899 next to it. Very similar in size, almost identical in size. Um, also, one thing I did want to mention is that when you're installing your smartphone bracket, it does go over top of a, a little lip that sticks out on the, uh, the, the antenna itself. Make sure you fasten that around that lip. Uh, it doesn't just slide over the antenna like some other models. This one actually goes around a little groove, and once you tighten it up, it's very, very sturdy on here. So, And then we can put the smartphone in there as well. I'm going to see if it'll hold my larger smartphone here. So it looks like it just does fit my large uh, iPhone 6 Plus. So pretty cool. So any size smartphone up to about a 6 inch smartphone. Uh, next up, I'm going to scan the QR code here on the App Store. I'm going to go ahead and hover that over top of that and it's going to take me to the App Store where I can download the Wi-Fi app for the H899. So I'm going to go ahead and install that. It's called HQ UFO. I'm going to install that and we'll see it in a second. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and connect the Wi-Fi. You've got to go into your Wi-Fi on your phone and select the HQ and you'll see that network. It should connect in just a second. Now it's connected. I'm going to go back out of the Wi-Fi mode. I'm going to go back over to the HQ UFO app and now I should be able to click on play and it should bring up our video feed. So there we go. The video feed is on. Pretty simple to hook up uh, and install. It's already ready to go. Uh, we can take that outside now and give it a flight test with the Wi-Fi FPV feed. Super cool. I'll see you at the field.
Okay guys, got a couple here to review today. I'm gonna start out with the H899 Super Cool Copter. It is uh, kind of like the SEMA X8C. Uh, this one does include a camera and uh, we're gonna go ahead and do some real-time FPV with this. It does do Wi-Fi to my phone, so I'm gonna put my smartphone on here and hook it up. Okay guys, so we're all ready to go. I have the Wi-Fi hooked up to my phone and we're seeing a live view now from the copter. Looks like a tiny bit of lag on here, not a whole lot of lag. So I'm gonna go ahead now, set this down. It is armed and ready to fly. We'll go ahead and take some video. I'll show you the flip modes and the headless mode. I'll show you the start and stop of the video and the camera. We'll do some photos and we'll, we'll show you the two different speed modes that it has. So this is the H899, let's do it. So to arm it, just like some of the other copters, you go out and to the side, and that also disarms it. Arm it again. So we'll go ahead and take off. Now, you can see right away, super stable flyer. It is a little bit noisier than some of the other copters because it is a brushed motors. Brushed motors are usually a little noisier. However, the video stream looks pretty good. There's not a ton of jello. I do see a little bit of jello in the video, uh, which means it's uh, wobbling just a little bit. So we'll go ahead and uh, start recording some video now. It's a little bit of wind. Doesn't really care too much about the wind. We can go out a little further kind of pushing me into these trees behind me so I'm gonna try to steer clear of those trees and if you do see a little bit of wind out during the day like try not to fly too super high because it could get going quite a ways behind you and you won't be able to recover so you might have to crash land to uh, get your drone back which would really suck so I am still recording video I believe Yeah, so if I level out just a little bit, I can really see the video view off in the distance. It looks, looks pretty nice. So I'm gonna go ahead now, I'm gonna show you some of the modes. I'm gonna go into mode two. So it gives me a little more aggressive flying, probably about a 35 degree tilt. And now it really takes off. You can see it really it has a lot more control. If, you know, you got to think about when you're flying to towards trees, you want to turn in advance because it takes a lot to stop this copter from its trajectory. But uh, so far, really fast. This is one of the ones I really liked. Super fast. We'll try a flip real quick. Uh oh. It's not one to flip. I'll try it again, push the direction. Might not want to flip when the camera is hooked up. So if you have your camera and a gimbal hooked up to it and your GoPro, it might not perform the flip because it might be a little too much weight on the copter. So they might have a safety feature built in that won't let me flip, but it is a really aggressive flip when it does flip. This thing is super nimble. Yeah, so it's not one to flip for us. So I'm just gonna go back to uh, some sport flying. Try to come over here and take a selfie. But this one, like the SEMA, is a real, a real value for the money. Cause like I said, you can, you can get a GoPro on there for under a couple hundred bucks, and that's pretty cool because you can go out and do some filming with your GoPro. I'm trying not to fly it back into the trees. Not a lot of people out here right now, so this is kind of fun. I'm kind of wondering what the range is on this one. I didn't see it on the uh, instruction manual, so if you guys test the range on this one and you know, put it in the comments below. Let me know what the range is. I'd be interested to know. Got some guys uh, working on the baseball field over there, so I won't go too close to the baseball field. 
But I really do like this mode too. It really moves out. It's pretty fast in this mode too. Pretty agile. If we go back into mode one, mode one is great for aerial stuff if you're trying to do stills and video. That's probably the mode you want to fly in. You can see how much smoother and slower it flies. Pretty nice. I flew this this morning earlier and the battery did last a long time. I probably got eight to ten minutes out of the battery. The 2000 mAh battery is pretty damn good. 2S. I'd like to see this thing fly on 3S, but I'm pretty sure it has a voltage protection on there. So if you go above a certain voltage, like 7.4 volt, it might actually cut the motors and drop out of the air. Also guys, this one does feature a mode. If you're flying too close to the bottom end of your battery, you'll notice the lights start to flash on the bottom of the quad. I give it a full throttle up, show you how much boost it has. It has a ton of boost. If you want to just get way up there really fast. And this one doesn't feature a self-leveling stick, um, self-centering stick. So that means it doesn't maintain its altitude. So you want to keep that in mind. If you drop the throttle on this one, it's going to drop out of the air. So maintain your throttle while you're flying this one. I'm going to go ahead and stop the video. I do like this transmitter because it does have a digital display on this. I don't know if you can see this here, but it shows us our Wi-Fi strength, just like you have on your smartphone. It'll show you the bars and how many bars you got. If you get too far away and you're about to lose video, you will see that. So now we can see up under the bottom of the quad, the lights are starting to flash. So it does look like we're starting to lose some battery and it's bringing itself down right now to a landing. So. Pretty cool, that's the uh, H899. Check them out in the link below, you can grab one of these. I'm Justin Davis from Drone Camps. Thanks for hanging out and watching the H899.